Hello and welcome to Tech with Artikindi. Today we're going to look at the Aqua Suit and how the RGB works and how you can set it up. Once you click on, you click here and then you click on RGBPX, it looks like this. You have two strips and that's because, as we can remember, the Octo looks like that. Um, you have one, two. So that's the mainly where the RGB is going into the Octo. So you have two strips. It's a four pin. So you need a adapter if you have a three pin RGB lights. Uh, and that you can buy with Aqua computer as well. Very easy. Uh, no problem with that. Uh, therefore you have these two. So when you click on one of these, you click on this one. You have a lot of, right now I've set mine up just for fun to go with uh, blue, then red, uh, based on CPU watt. So right now we're using 38 watts on the CPU and we can fade it over so it's a little bit more. Uh, and I did that with strip number two as well, so they are identical. So if I, for instance, Say I start Cinebench, so we use a lot more. Let's start Cinebench in the background here. Then you can see it will change color based on. Let's start. Let's go. Cinebench running. Yeah, it's changing to red because now we're using. I set the limit on here for 300 because that's roughly what the limit on the CPU is. You just saw it flashing 301. You can also probably hear my fan curve going up. Um, so let's stop that again, but that's... What other things can you do with the RGB here? If you click on this one, there are quite a few pre-programmed. Uh, this is all the ones you can do. Let's just uh, rotating rainbow. I think I think that's self-explanatory. Let's just go with the rotating rainbow here on both. Now you can see rainbow colors. Yeah. And the reason why it says strip up to 90, because every strip, each connection can handle up to 90 LEDs. So if you have a LED strip, you can actually divide it up and have, have it show different colors. But that's rainbow. And you have all these other things you have here. You have like, there's some cool ones in between here. We have scanner. Let's just go on both here. Scanner. Now it's like flashing up and down. You see it here, back and forth. Well, it's it's not that easy to show on the camera because I turned the camera so you can see half the computer as well. You can see this part of the computer, but it's not that easy to see. You can also link it to a data source if you want to. So I have quite a few data sources. You have coolant, ambient. I have control fan speed, GPU watt, CPU watt. I have something to show what, how much space I've used on my disk. I, I will show you how to make these later. And if you saw my uh, previous video on AquaSuit, you can see the control fan speed, how I made that one. Uh, so you can actually just, just say, just want to couple that to the LED strip. You can have it shift between those two. You can go up in speed if you want to, like go. I should go super quickly. Let's pound both up in speed now. Well, it's, yeah, it's hard to see at the, at the camera. You can also go uh, color sequence. You can go laser. I have no idea what that is. So that's just, yeah, you can see it here. It just goes one direction. And you can see I have two different ones on my, because I did not. Let's slow it down so we have two different ones here. Yeah, so the top one 
is the laser effect. Oh, it, or is it the bottom one that's the laser? So the top one is the laser, yeah. So you can pretty much just sit here and change around. They have, they have some pretty cool ones. Uh, I'm sorry, but the camera doesn't really do it justice. It looks a lot nicer when you can actually see it. So you have you have the the sensor color sensor control color change. That's the one I'm using, the one I like. And you can link it to a data source. I would probably link it to coolant normally. Then I would say my coolant limit, as I've seen it, is around 35. So let's just go 40 with the cooling limit. So middle is 20. Then you pretty much click. What color do you want here? Well, uh, I want a bluish, like not too dark blue, like more. There we go. That blue. And then I want a red orangey color on that one. And then we need to, we need to, then you can copy the color code. Copy, and then you go to the other one here, and then we make it color, where is it? Color switch. Follow the coolant. The limit, 40. Set the bar to the middle, so we're half and half. And then this one was that color. Go back here, what? Blue was it? It was that blue. Copy the color code. Now both should be the same. You can also do fade. So now they are fading over each other instead of the hard switch. That's pretty bright. Uh, again, the colors are hard to see because it's it's only the camera's situation is so. It's not a bad angle, let's just say that. Uh, but that's pretty much how you do RGB in uh, AquaSuite. And I do like, there's so many options here. You should be able to find something you like. Uh, you have sound switch, so you can make it go with the music. Uh, let's see what this is, what, what this is. Idle speed, activity speed. So music, right now it's just background. So if we start something, where's my music? That's uh, fun with it. I mean, you should be able to find something in here that you want. As I said, I'm going to go with the data source coolant controlled so I can see. Actually, may monitor how. how my coolant is doing. Uh, we want that reddish. Not too red because, yeah. yeah. Pretty much you can go whatever color you like here. It's uh, it's up to you, really. I like the more brighter colors. Uh, go back to color switch. Data source. You, you can pretty much add whatever you want to. Uh, earlier, I had set it to GPU watts, so when I wasn't playing a game, it was one color. When I was playing a game, it changed to a different color. Yeah. And you can have a lot more fun with it if you want to. You can... If I wanted to, I could put the GPU block on one strip, and then put the CPU block on a different strip, and then have... Since there are only two, two ways in, you have to make a choice. You can split the uh, split fans in two groups. So you have maybe you can go with front fans and top fans, and then, or you can just go all the fans in one group and then CPU block and pump, uh, CPU block, GPU block and pump in a different group. That's up to you how you wanna how you you wanna set it. Let's just copy this one, and then we click fade. I like it fading over. But you can also control brightness by data source. I mean, there's so many things you can do. 
it's pretty simple, easy to go to. So 